Hey guys, Dr. Matthews here. Welcome back to some more of our road to the league. So I want to say when I when I'm looking down like that, when I do the inner I'm making sure I'm not muted. And also, uh, yeah, that, that's the biggest thing because I do forget and yeah. So let's get into this. We only had one game in between this. It was a Newcastle game. We did lose two nil to that one, so it was nothing big with that. We're gonna have Queens Park Rangers in the Carabao Cup, which was relegated down to the championship. And I think from there, we are likely going to play uh, Crystal Palace at the end of September. Will probably be our game. So we'll have a couple more in there. If there's a Carabao Cup game, if we win this, hopefully we do. There's a Carabao Cup game before the Crystal Palace game. We'll have three games today. So let's get right into it. So Queens Park Rangers, their main man is Gareth Flynn, the Welsh. International, 29 years old. Pretty good uh, Premier League player. Um, he's asking to leave because they were relegated. But here we go. Should be an easier bit of play. So we do have a couple of things that we are doing it. We are playing at Queen's Park Rangers themselves. They're playing a 4-3-3. And for us, our change is Markovic is not going to be playing. He is a bit gassed right now. The injury, the uh, wrist fracture... Essentially, he's playing every other game at this point. So, M will come Kappa Gutierrez up top. If we need Markovic, we will. Other than that, nothing else has changed. Uh, kind of just going through and hoping we get something better here. So, let's submit the team. Let's be smart about this. And let's win us the ball game. Go through. Expect to win tonight. The lawn doesn't like it. But we need to win this. We need to win this game. Care about Cup? Well, it's not the biggest cup by any means. Um, we'll likely run into Man City because we always run into Man City in these. I would do Man City or Newcastle, which after we get past like the initial lower teams, we always run into and we always get beat. So let's hope for not a Man City game because that would, might hurt my soul. As in the first 10 minutes, we don't have a shot on goal, but we have most possession. Come on, boys. Let's get this going. Still nothing. I'm going to demand more here at this point. Okay, so we do get a one shot. We're playing pretty good defense, it looks like. We're just not getting the shots on goal. Balzacar goes down with an injury. It is a knee injury. That is not good. Yeah, Holberg's going to come in. We're just going to hope that we don't get more injuries. We might have to bring in a striker. I'm thinking about that. Depending on how bad that injury is. But luckily we get it before the window is closed the window closes like the day after this or a couple days after two shots on target let's go a little bit more attacking we just need to like press up a little bit more i think here's tabiri plays it in and it's given mark pushed our man, the myth, the legend. Who's going to take this penalty? Um, we have Hallberg in. Let's just have Hallberg take it. He's our best penalty taker. Let's see if we can get him a goal today. On his right foot, Hallberg places in the back of the net. Okay, that's his first goal of the season. We're likely not going to take him out, even if he gets another card just because. But... Because he is a sub in that. And here we go. A moment. We've all been waiting for. Some type of moment. Tora. Plays it up. Baya. To Gutierrez. Gutierrez plays it through. To Suarez. And that is a good stop by Jaeger. Another corner here. Beery is going to take this. Places it in the middle. We're not going to win that. Dowling does head it forward 
when it's there we need to get our formation back Solaris going to make a break far side cuts it in Holberg header over the net over the net okay our first two subs let's take out Tiberi he's playing great let's get in Oria um Ashmore is going to come in on the backside for Malik. Ariza is going to be the Regista here. A Segundo Volante to be Frank. Um, Dodate on the right side, and that should be our changes. That should be our changes. So, still 1 0. We're playing better. Gutierrez just picked up a knock. See how bad it is. Lower leg is probably a gash lower leg. Oh, from a cleat to be more specific. We're not going to take him off. Not unless he takes a seat on uh, the pitch. Are we taking him off? All right. Six minutes of added time. And Martins. Green Spark Rangers trying to do something. Torres there. Dodate heads it away. Gutierrez is going to have that ball. Looks like he's trying to play through that injury, which you'll love to see. Ariza. A little switch. Dodate making a move. Shot. Ooh, and that is wide left. That was a great shot. Great shot. We're going to praise the boys before the end of this game. That was an amazing shot by Dotate. That's a good win for us. I'm hoping he's all right. But it's a knee injury. We know how the L's can be. Norwich City knocks out Leeds United. Those are two Prem teams, right? No. Maybe they're both they're both championship teams. Okay, I thought that one of them was in up here. So I guess that's not the upset. But here's the upset. Stoke City beating Chelsea. Okay. And Sunderland's up here as well at the Prem. But they were just promoted and Bournemouth knocks them out. Bournemouth is down at the championship. So that's an interesting bit there. We'll look to see who is here but also we need to see this injury oh six to seven weeks Kepa is just a tight Achilles okay that could have been even worse Troma is just playing well 19 I don't think I'm going to keep him at the under 21s right now And then Gonzalez is out for this next one. So I do have this transfer window. Nottingham Forest is here on the fourth. So we're going to have to probably take a look and see if we can pick up a striker. Because right now, Markovic is not good. Dalsgaard is out. I mean, all we have is really Holberg. Maybe Ditchfield can come up and play. Maybe Ditchfield can. So Ditchfield's going to have to come up and be the sub here. Which I'm not completely convinced he can do it. I could be pleasantly surprised. I don't know. Uh, Hines is more of a defensive player. Yeah, that, that's what we have to go with. And if he goes down, we're going to have an even more of a struggle bus. So we need to be smart with that. Maybe pick up one striker. If we can get someone, I don't know. All right, so I'm going to go through with this. We'll see. I'm hoping to sell a couple of players as well. So maybe we can get this up and ensure that we stay above 30 million. While it seems like a lot, I don't think we're going to be down that far just because if we get a finish that's decent uh, for us, to look at the prem 
I mean, just as long as we're somewhere in mid table, we should be able to erase it out with playing at Anfield as well. So we should be good. So make a cut here. We'll be back with that game, uh, either at Crystal Palace or the next Carabao Cup game. I'm guessing it's the next Carabao Cup game. All right. So I just realized I didn't have my camera on last time. It, it's fine. I pressed the wrong button. It's all right. So Carabao Cup draw. We are going to do an automatic draw and see who is drawn with each other. So, Man City will play Newcastle. Thank you. The two teams have knocked us out. They're gone. We play Liverpool. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, at least neither team has to go that far because we're playing at Anfield. So, both teams are playing there. It's technically a home game for Liverpool. Damn it. How are our previous meetings? We've won one, drawn two. Yeah. That hurts my soul. I don't want to talk about it. All right. So we are back and I have a couple of signs to go through. We had a couple more here. We brought in Lukau. He was at Tottenham. We brought him in again. On loan. Last game, not great, but we're getting him up to fitness. But the game before that, he had two goals. And they blow out to 5-1 Nottingham. And then the bad game against Everton, we lost 4-0. Uh, Reza went to Everton for $30 million, So that was a good pickup there. It's going to be 15 now, and then 15 is spread out between the next six months and three payments. That's still a pretty good one there. We're going to be playing Crystal Palace. We drew Liverpool. We saw that. And that isn't until October. So that game won't be until next episode. We'll probably do that. And maybe United as we work into November. So Crystal Palace. We have it. We have one injury. Uh, that was uh, Xiao Suarez had a hip injury. Suffered in training. He's out two to three months. Which sucks. So that means that... Holberg's going to come in as a, a shadow striker. We'll see what he can play here. Markovic is completely healthy here. And then Lakao is just getting himself back up to fitness. So we'll see how it goes. Gutierrez is going to come in as time uh, kind of permits as he needs to come in. I mean, his expectation as a squad player. And he is going to be our guy that comes in. Ditchfield is promoted up into the rotation from the bench and so we'll see what he can do if we need him so crystal palace at home we are slated as in not uh, as in 13th if we get this one because it's the game in hand that we have we could propel ourselves into 12th and be right behind that hand for us at sixth actually as a matter of fact if we win this game we will be fifth because we will be over nottingham forest in goal difference so we need these games other than the top like portion. We need to be able to play well and win these games. If we can win these games that most of us uh, should win at this point, I feel like we have a unique opportunity this year to be higher than mid table and squeeze in to a European position. I mean, really all we have to do is beat the teams that are 10 and below in that and we should be able to get ourselves around there or we'll be able to actually get maybe that ninth or 10th because we'll have to draw a couple of games in there but it's going to start out in the first minute a crystal palace attempt here sola looking montney amarella shot it is deflected amas amaria and that goes into the back of the net, but flags up in the background. He is off sides. So I'm going to encourage the boys again. And Crystal Palace has nothing to lose out here, and they are trying to put us to the sword right now. Long trying to argue his case, but he doesn't have to because this is a clear and blatant offsides. Easy, easy, easy flag for the linesman. And here we go again. Crystal Palace putting the pressure. Joel going all the way to Baca. Baca field switch to Amas. 
Moss going down the near side, looking for the cross. Just float it up, the long, plucks it out of the air. Can we get something here? It would be nice. Somewhere? No, it's fine. But the long, I was looking at my camera, I thought it was off a little bit. The long, big kick, Tabiri, Holberg over to Makovic. That's a good one. It's deflected. Deflected by the defender, and so the keeper can easily make a play on that deflection. Um, not great possession for us. This is very ironic, but let's uh we're gonna play like this. We're playing wide. Let's focus the play down the left side and overlap. They're gonna play this narrow, we're gonna overlap it and play it down the side. There's the header. I mean, no one is actually trying to make a play in the middle. I'm gonna go back post, Tora, header, solo looking. It's only a matter of time. Long punch out. Hamas wants the shot. It's there off the post. Yeah, what is going on here? And we are just out here being assaulted. It's only a matter of time before this goes in, and there it is. I'm going to put Makovic here, and I'm going to play him as an AM. It's still not doing anything because we're not getting help up. Okay, Tiberi has to come all the way out. Bro, I need that to be a better. Just kick it as far as you can. My God, this is terrible. Suarez kind of just held our team together. And with him going down with an injury, that is likely going to spell the fact that we are going to go down and struggle again. This shouldn't be an issue for us. We're playing so well. And now Kovix, like, put it out in a space, my guy. There we go. There we go, Tiberi. Through ball. Holberg freaking misses it. I don't think Markovic misses that. Switch it back. It's the smart thing to do. Come on, let's get wide. There we go. Markovic, work it into the box, my guy. That's what we're supposed to be doing, right? No, maybe not. Oh, okay, maybe I'm wrong with that. Maybe I'm wrong with that. <laughs> okay. I need you to be better. We can still win this game. Good ball up. Markovic is on offsides. Okay, you need to be onside so you can make a run at that. Levski is just not going to be able to get there before you will. There we go. Bennett, Markovic. No one's there. Ah, uh, Holberg can't get his head on it. Go to Lacau and 
Keep it on the ground, guys. You know what? With this, I'm gonna have them work the ball in the uh, work the ball in the box. Just be smarter with that. Like the fact that their midfield is dominating us, that should not be happening. There we go. That's the second one Holberg's missed. That's the second one Holberg's missed. He's out. He's done. Two missed goals by Holberg that were wide open. It just hurts. That, that just hurts. Good Suarez. Still not out. We can still shock them. That's a good save. I don't think it's on target, but I think it's still a good save. There's the shot. Okay. We can still get one point out of this. Lukao has to do it himself. Can't believe Crystal Palace beat us here. I mean, in a way, I do. Lukao misses it. Because Suarez is the one that should be taking those. But he's injured. If Suarez takes that, it's likely a goal. Welp. That was bad. That could have helped us a lot. And now we're in a situation where we're playing from behind once again this season. Holberg can't play that. Markovic's going to have to, and we're just going to have to play like this. I don't specifically like this. I'd rather have Markovic up, but we could also play Ditchfield. We're just not getting good play out of our reserves back there. Okay, so like I said before, we'll be back with this Liverpool game um, in the middle of October, and then we'll see where we go from there. So not the greatest uh, thing. I mean... League games in this, we've we've dropped four out of our four out of what eight that we've had at this point. Looking at it, we've dropped four out of seven, so only three wins, no draws. We've lost four games. We need to get back in the horse. We need to win games at this point. I need to be able to get up into Europe because that's going to give us the prestige to be able to do something. Because right now, the prestige of us is kind of held at three. And I don't think it's going to go up to three at this point because we're national. But the issue is we have no international competitions under our belt. If we get those under our belt, we'll be good. The biggest thing is we need to actually get there. So, yeah, we, we, we need this. We're still media predicted to be 19 in a regulation battle, but... I just don't see it, but we do need better players. That's the thing. So thanks for hanging out. Go leave a like below, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Later.